Hi, my name is Andy Huang. I formerly worked as an e-learning advisor at Roehampton University and I'm back here today to present um, my little project that I've been working on since I left Roehampton one year ago, which is bringing Code Club to the world. So what's Code Club? Well, Code Club is a UK initiative set up by um, Claire and Laura as an idea that came to them in a pub. Now, what it was is both Claire and Laura are um, ladies who code and they decided um, when they were sitting in a pub that children should be taught code a little bit better. So what they've done is they came up with a set of plans, went into schools and started to teach. Then they decided to share their plans on their website, codeclub.org.uk, um, allowing anyone to download the plans, go into schools and teach them. So they were expecting well, about 20 clubs or so, but um, having set up in April 2012, by the end of 2012 they had 300 clubs going. And their plan was to try to teach as many young people to code as possible. The plan was really successful. So by the end of 2012, as I say, they had 300 clubs and now they run more than 2,000 clubs in the UK with more than 600 in London alone. So the formula was pretty right. They wanted to get children enthusiastic about programming by getting them to program games and stories and stuff like that. Um, and there was no shortage of enthusiastic volunteers ready to take up the course. So here's how it works. It's really very simple. Um, volunteers or schools will go to codeclub.org.uk um, and um, the volunteers will go into the venues and check out uh, and arrange for themselves the uh, placements. They then go onto the website, download the projects which are provided free of charge and go and um, teach children. Now that's quite simple, all of that adds up to one code club. You just need volunteers, venue, projects and children. So um, the website is genius actually. You can see down the bottom here that um, they coordinate the clubs and the venues and put them together. That's pretty much all that the, uh, the Code Club main organisation does. So here's what I've been doing for the past year or so. Well, okay, for the first part of the year that I've been away from Roehampton, I did spend a considerable number of months just sitting around drinking pina coladas. But after a while, I decided I needed something else to do. So there I am again, boogieing away. And after a while I got a bit bored of all the partying lifestyle and decided to um, get down to doing something useful in Vietnam where I had decided to go for my holiday. It turns out that um, when I started to look at Code Club UK, it turns out that this year um, Code Club has expanded their operations to go global. And now instead of just being UK wide, network of coding clubs for children aged 9 to 11. There are now a worldwide network of coding clubs for children aged 9 to 11. And you can find a new site at codeclubworld.org. So I was in Hanoi, a bit bored, and I decided to um, set up a code club. Um, well, the cool thing about it is that on Code Club World, there are materials in Brazilian, um, Portuguese, Catalan, Dutch, German, Norwegian, Spanish, Ukrainian, and more. And I was looking around, I thought, I wonder if there are any code clubs in Vietnam, if this sort of thing is in Vietnamese. So it turns out that it wasn't. However, code club provide all of the uh, resources in order to make this happen. Already they'd given away all their, um, their projects for free so that people could go in and teach them in schools, as I said earlier. The Code Club have been kind enough to allow anyone in the world to download their projects and teach them. So I got together a little team and we decided to 
Um, so I've got a little team together through my little group that I run in Hanoi called Hanoi in English. We decided to take the projects that, um, that were provided for free and I got a crew together to translate them into Vietnamese. Um, we met up every week and within about three weeks we translated the whole of the first term, which is uh, Scratch, into Vietnamese. Which is pretty cool. Here's the work we've been doing. As you can see, the Scratch curriculum is provided free of charge on, um, on GitHub, which allows anyone to make copies um, of it, which is a process called forking, and translate the fork um, and contribute it back to the main core. So this is really cool. We forked the original English um, the original English plans and we translated them into Vietnamese. Shortly, these Vietnamese plans will be going up on the Code Club World site, um, having been translated already. <coughs> we made our own little Code Club Vietnam GitHub on which we um, manage all of our, our issues here. Um, we translated the whole thing into Vietnamese and anyone now who wants to teach um, Scratch or any of the Code Club lessons can do so now in Vietnamese. In addition, my crew went off, we managed to source some sponsors, and we now have Code Club World, uh, sorry, CodeClubVietnam.org, which is in English and Vietnamese, and we're now starting to recruit volunteers to go into schools. So far, we've already been into three schools, uh, one local school, um, one local Vietnamese school, and two international schools where we teach um, regular lessons every week. It's been a blast. I mean, not just teaching code, but also the whole translation thing, getting a group together. Um, it's been a great project. Loads of people have learned lots of stuff. The, um, most of my volunteers actually have never coded before and just came on board because they fancied a bit of a translation job. While they were there, they got into coding as well, so that was really cool. So if, someone's, uh, so if we hadn't achieved anything, well, shucks, we had a good time anyway. Um, but I think we have. This week um, we went into UNIS, which is the United Nations International School in Hanoi, and our volunteers were um, key in helping to run a global event with 10 schools um, across the world in one day. We helped, um, I think it was about 400 students um, and those are our two volunteers, or two of our volunteers, uh, Seahorse and Nga, uh, um, at the top left there, helping a bunch of guys, uh, a bunch of young people learn Scratch. If you want to find out any more about the Code Club Vietnam project, check us out at codeclubvietnam.org, um, and we blog at codeclubvietnam.tumblr.com. And we're also on Twitter. Check us out at... Code Club Vietnam.